I hear the birds chirping. That means more Witcher. I hear it. Oh, fuck. It's trying to photobomb me while I'm trying to introduce the video. But anyway, welcome back, guys. Hope you guys had a wonderful, wonderful day. I certainly, I kind of did, actually. I woke up, like, super early, which is great for making videos. Um, but then I fell, <laughs> I fell asleep again, so. That's terrible for making videos. So, as, as a saying sorry thing that I always do, um, if I don't post a video on Monday or Tuesday, uh, I will extend it into the weekend. Uh, seeing as I never post any videos on the weekend, that is a big thing for me. It just, it's just my way to show you guys respect. I mean, obviously I miss things here and there because I, you know, do have things to do, but I want to show you guys that I care, and I do, so. Let me get my big butt off this horse and follow this guy. Oh, he's right here. Is this guy? Oh. Wanted to look around. I'd like to know where I've landed. Oh, okay. So go to the port near... Okay. So, for those of you who are new, uh, or if you forgot, we just landed in Skellige. And we are looking for Siri right now. Actually, we're looking for to find Yen, actually, and then she'll help us pursue Siri. I think that's what's going on. You need not do this, child. I know, but I want to. Is that Trish? Her nose looks a little bit big, but I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if that's her. This madness. Such a young lass. Ernie should be the one going. They shared a bed long Silence. Time. This is her decision. You look beautiful. Thank you. Nice to see you again. The eulogy. King Bran of Clan Twirsech has embarked on his final voyage. At its end, our glorious ancestors await him. Together, they will hunt and raid. They will sit round the fire and praise the deeds of ages past. For now, he lives in our hearts. One day, we too shall stand at his side and face the sea together. That will be a good day. He was well respected, unlike his wife. 
Kelliga is its clans. In times of war, tradition holds the clans unite under the leadership of their king. We bid Bran farewell. Time to pick his successor who will lead us against the Black Ones. The gates of Caer Troll stand open to all who hail Bran of Clan Twilsach dear. Mead and meat will be plentiful. During the wake, those who believe themselves worthy of the crown will step forth. Hope we don't have to go to this wake. Well, we don't have to go. Feasts in Skellige, so predictable. Slobbering drunks, brazen boasting, and the inevitable rows that result. Yeah, nothing like the banquets mages attend. Remember the one on Thanet? You were there. How could I forget? I also remember excruciatingly well what happened after the banquet. Yeah, I ate something else if you guys know what I mean. <laughs> Gross. Okay. Reading my mind. Reading my mind again? Mm. What's more, I like what I see. Did you learn anything in Velen? How about you? What have you learned? Something strange happened on Amad Skellig a time ago. A disaster brought about by a burst of magic. Extraordinary, really. Natural anomaly. Never seen anything like it. My intuition tells me Siri was its cause. As much as I respect your intuition, Yen, we need something specific. Evidence. I'd know for certain if I was able to inspect the disaster zone. Unfortunately, Ermion and his druids aren't letting anyone near. So why won't Ermion let you inspect the area of the anomaly? Call it a difference of opinion. A large, loud difference. Look, it's Krach. Wait, Wolf. Greetings, Krach. I shall see you at the wake, and I'll not accept any excuses. I have an important matter to discuss with you. You can talk to I me right here. And white for the feast. I count on you to don something complimentary. Something that doesn't reek of a thousand hunts. Yen, you know I can't stand new doublets. Just too tight till you break them in. And just like Clark, I'll not accept any excuses. We're not here to enjoy ourselves. We've matters to resolve and should dress appropriately. I've rented a room at the inn. Took the liberty of laying out some clothes for you there. You ought to go. Choose something. In the meantime, I have something to attend to. We'll meet at the entrance to the feast hall. And she better have bought those clothes from Hot Topic. I'm not accepting anything less. I bet when this video gets like seen by like people in years, they're gonna be like, Hot Topic's so old, that's what old people shout. Oh fuck, am I stealing? <laughs> I thought they were coming after me. I was like, no! <clears throat> so we gotta run around here. Excuse me! This is good, we finally landed here. And I still have a broken sword. And now I can do some of the quests that I picked up. Um, like the- oh no wait, I still can't do the uh, quest that's like, oh, go find the sword master or whatever, because it's like level 24. Like, I'm level 12 and I can still, you know, handle myself pretty well against like, maybe level 15 enemies. That's what I figured out when I was doing some, uh, some, oh, whoops, wrong way. When I was doing some Witcher contracts, and I was like, oh, this monster is, you know, too strong for you. I'm like, oh, really? Like, as long as the, I think they do a really good job with showing you what you can handle. Like, as long as the, uh, level for the quest is green, you can pretty much handle yourself, uh, really well. So it's not like, oh my god, like, this thing is invincible. It's not like a game like Destiny where if you're like, oh, I'm level, you know, 20 and you go into a DLC and then the monster's like a question mark over his head and you can't do shit to it. <laughs> I think that's stupid, but... Alright, let's do this. Uh-oh. you say uh-oh for? I just got here. These people are already annoying me. Next 
Seems they set us with the sons of Jarls exclusively. Sarison Crate is the daughter of a Jarl god. Jarl's daughters are in no way inferior to their sons. Do you know every last one of them dreams of being Bran's successor? Look at him. Likely lot. Saris is jealous, for the one among us who performs the greatest feat will be crowned king. <laughs> we all know the feats are a sideshow. Our fathers will choose who will wear the crown. What do you think they spoke to Crack about? You talk like that because you're short of strength and skill. Remember when Kjalmer challenged us all to a race up the mount? You didn't stand with us then. As he buried his axe in that stump at the top to mark his victory, you were warming your chicken bones by the fire. Had my reasons for not participating, but I would have won then, as I'd win now. Hmm, now that you mention him, just noticed Hjalmar's not here. My brother walks his own paths. But about the race, why don't we repeat it? I'm willing to challenge any of you, Witcher included. If I'd beat him to the top, venture to say that'd be a feat, eh? So you in? If the Witcher's in. Geralt? Hmm. Sure. Gladly. What are the rules? Whoever pulls Hjalmar's axe from the stump at the top of the hill wins. Stray off the path and you lose. And here I was, ready to puke from all the boredom. Let's go! We're here. From this spot, you must reach the top of that mount. At the summit, you'll see the stump of an oak. Yalma's axe buried in it. Whoever pulls the axe from the stump first wins. I'm ready. 